Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd. So, right around the 22nd, let's see, what do we got? Let's get one of these, why don't we? Let's get one of these. What do we have for around the 22nd? You know, the timing is fluid. What do we have for around the 22nd? Quill. Get back to the basics. Oh, we got three of them here. Get back to the basics. Flute. Ah, disappointment in a friend or a lover. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Now, a fox is very sly. So you definitely, whether, you know, you need to be sly or, or something, you know, you definitely need to be aware, okay? Um, now this, this came after this one, so I feel like there's a friend or a lover that is uh, probably up to no good. Somebody is up to no, somebody's up to no good by the looks of things. Um, get back to the basics. You may be disappointed. Um, maybe you need to go your own way. I mean, foxes, you don't usually don't see a fox out with anybody. They're usually very, uh, single. Okay. They're, they, uh, take care of themselves. This is a hunter. A fox is a hunter. Playful as well. Interesting. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Well, that one dropped real fast. Three of Cups reversed. Now this is parting ways. Could be a termination. Extreme competitiveness. There could be some gossiping. Okay, there could be some gossiping. People are uh, uh, complaining. This could be uh, enemies disguised as friends. This could be overdoing it with alcohol as well. Um, you may need to remove yourself because this is parting ways from somebody. Because this is parting ways with a friend or a lover. And this is disappointment with a friend or a lover. So this is parting ways. Maybe you just need to do your own thing. Get back to the basics. You know. Take care of you. Hmm. The world card reverse is lack of completion, lack of success, stuck in an old way. Huh. Stuck in an old way, stuck in the present. Refusing to explore new avenues, not very happy about your current circumstances. Somebody may be holding on to the third party. This is flogging a dead horse. Uh, not letting go, not completing that, that chapter, not completing that cycle. This is somebody that is refusing, very much stuck, stuck in their old ways. Too much resistance here. But the party is over. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no coming together. But we have somebody here that is refusing to close the chapter. Refusing to close the chapter. Hmm. Temperance. This is accept and go with the flow. You know, temperance comes after death. We talk about this a lot. The death has happened. The ending has happened. Accept it. Go with the flow. Everything happens for a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. You know, everything is fluid. Not everything, but, you know, it can be. It's up to you. It's about your perspective. This is about healing after a death, accepting and, and moving forward, okay? This is allowing and accepting change, blending to create harmony. This is learning a lesson, accepting what has died, what has ended as a blessing, okay? Accept it and, and you know, realize that it happened for a reason. Now, this is about balance as well. It's like... Uh, Bringing balance back to your mind, to your soul, to your body. This is definitely going with the flow. Accepting it. 
but there's been a lack of acceptance. Here is needing to accept, but this is not accepting. This is flogging a dead horse. There's a third party situation, you know, there's no coming together. There's probably no communication. King of Wands. Now the King of Wands uh, has made his mind up. His mind is made up. This person's mind is made up. You can't change it. This is an energy of unreasonable. You can't reason with this person. They know what they want. Has made their decision very, very strong. Six of coins reversed. Now this is uh, not giving anything. So we have an individual here that has made up their mind that they are not going to be giving anything. Okay. This is rejection. It's a rejection of an offer. Saying no. I'm not interested. This is no. You're not getting anything. Or not no response at all. This is like, this could be a boss that is firing somebody, okay? Because the King of Wands is often a boss. When his mind is made up, his mind is made up. He is in a position, he or she is in a position of an authority. So somebody has made up their mind. They could be uh, firing somebody, okay? Um, being mean, just not giving. They, they could be, maybe they promised something and they're, and they're not just changing their mind or they're, they made up their mind or whatever the case is. This is a one-sided situation with the Six of Pentacles reversed. It's one-sidedness. This is an abuse of generosity or an abuse of power. This is an injustice. It's greedy, okay? It's greed with the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is strong control. So somebody is is very much in control and I don't think they're changing their mind. They don't want to be uh, friends anymore. They don't want to be in this relationship anymore. It's over, but there's need to accept it. Somebody needs to accept it. There's been a lot of gossip. This person is definitely unreasonable. Uh, now, this is lack of closure. This is parting ways, not saying goodbye or n not a, a good goodbye, you know, but still needing to accept it. You got to accept it. Accept it. What It is what it is. So the temperance is about accepting the death because it comes after the death card. And death is an ending. You're going to need to accept and realize that everything happens for a purpose. This is a change, okay? It's an exchange. It's, it's letting something go for something better. Whether you like it or not. High Priestess Reverse. Now the High Priestess Reverse is somebody that is not very awakened not very aware. They think they are. They think they know it all. They think they're awakened, but they're not. This is somebody that ignores their intuition, is overly reliant on psychics and tarot readers and mediums because they can't listen to their own gut. They want a different answer. I want a different answer, so I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep begging until I get that different answer. But even that different answer isn't going to change the circumstances. We have somebody also that has been keeping to themselves or they aren't listening to themselves. This is an individual, the high priestess reversed is somebody that isn't very spiritual. This could be somebody that, and, and it could be the exact opposite of keeping to themselves. This is somebody who gossips, that they, they can't shut their mouth, okay? They can't shut their mouth. Um, the high priestess reversed, this is a lesson that needs to be learned. Somebody needs to learn a lesson, 
okay because the world card is a lesson so we have an individual that is not very awakened this person is not very spiritual they probably do gossip they talk a lot they they bitch behind another person's back they constantly cause problems they are going to be learning because this is learning a lesson and this one is too somebody's going to be learning a lesson this person is very shallow, doesn't have a lot of female friends, um, is hard to deal with, probably hard to love because she's very, uh, this is like somebody that is very secretive, very, very, very secretive, to, but, she, but she's also manipulative, okay? Comes after ma the magician, okay? So it's highly manipulative in reverse. So we, this person is highly, highly, highly manipulative is very skilled at manipulation. Has been getting away with something. Somebody has been getting away with some sort of deception. Okay, this is secrets. Keeping secrets. And it has to do with money. Okay, there's some sort of monetary gain here. This person is only looking for the monetary gain. But this person, whoever this person is, about to learn a lesson with these two cards. They're about to learn some sort of lesson. This is not receiving. Not receiving money, not receiving a payout, getting fired, being terminated. And this is a termination as well. So somebody could be getting terminated. This is an individual who is very, um, definitely hard to deal with thinks this is a know-it-all okay the high priestess in reverse is a know-it-all that doesn't really know it all eight of swords now the eight of swords is mental turmoil now this is like prison right trap this is like prison i don't know maybe somebody's going to prison but anyway this this eight of swords is a is a mental prison Trapped in their own thoughts. Very comfortably, uh, it's like comfortable, I feel like comfortably numb in their situation. But remember, the Seven of Swords comes before the Eight of Swords, so that's deception, self deception, betrayal. Very next card is the nine of swords, so very, very overwhelmed. We have an individual in this picture that is very stressed out. I think they're stressed out over money, okay? They're stressed out over you know their bank account or something like that. Anyhow, this is definitely stressed out, and they've probably done something very, very deceptive, and they're getting away with it right now, okay? Because this looks very you know, I'm getting away with it. There's somebody's getting away with it right now, but they're not going to be successful in the end. There's an unsuccessful ending here. Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is a victory after sorrow. This is the battle is over. The fight is over. The competition is over. And we, this individual was highly competitive. But the competition is over. Done playing games. This battle is over. It's the end. It's the end of this battle. It's the end. So this we do definitely have an ending here. The Six of Wands is moving to a better place. Coming out of conflict. We have an, this is a lot of, takes a lot of strength, a lot of willpower, a lot of, uh, strategy, strategy. Somebody has, has made it. They've made it. They've made it through a difficult situation. They have, but this is trapped and, and somebody has been trapped in their mind, but this is coming out of it. It is interesting. So the Six of Wands is, is, is the end. It's a victory. This is, there's going to be an exchange. There's something, there's going to, you know, this comes after death. So this is the end of a battle. This is victory. This is public recognition. 
being recognized for serving, somebody is going to be recognized or something's going to be recognized. Somebody's hard work or their valor or their nobility or whatever is going to be recognized. And there's going to be an exchange. There's going to be a change. This is, this is a change. This manipulative in the per, in person, manipulative person that has been, I don't know if they've been stealing or what the hell they've been doing. Because this is thieving. They've been, and they've been getting away with it. Okay. The, whatever they've been, they're not going to be successful. This is lack of success. And this, but this is success with uh, restoring harmony or something, because this is restoring harmony and balance. This is somebody that comes out done fighting, done fighting, done done playing games. It's over. No more playing games. This is restoring balance and harmony. Ooh, two of cups reverse. Now there's that's a separation. That is, that's a separation. There's a there's a, there could be a fight, there could be an argument. Uh the two of cups reversed is disharmony. It, it's a divorce or ending a relationship, ending a partnership. Uh there's probably been some sort of dominance, okay? Fighting for dominance here. Because this is fighting and this is dominance. It feels like there's been some you know, and highly competitive energy here as well. So somebody has been fighting for dominance, but I think it's over. It's the end. It's over. Okay, there's, this is evolving, changing. Um, it's over. Accepting that it's over. Okay, so accepting that this partnership is over. There's no reunion. There's no, This is an unhappy couple. This is a breakup, a separation, or a divorce. Um, there's no no compatibility. The fight is over. It's been a it's been a long fight. Okay, it's been a hard fight. Somebody has fought and fought and fought and fought, and there's been so much back and forth competitiveness. But it's over. It's like I'm done playing games. I'm done. It's time for something better because this is about something better. So this is. Uh, Stepping outside of this is restriction. This is being confined because of somebody's thoughts. Somebody's thoughts and fears or whatever was confining them. Or they were listening to other readers or to anybody, to psychics, mediums who were telling them something that wasn't real. This is somebody who's not very spiritual, that isn't very awakened. The high priestess reversed. That has hidden agendas. Okay, this is somebody who has hidden agendas. So there is some somebody here. And it may have been money. Anyhow. And it doesn't have to be a tarot reader. It could be anybody. But it's, so whoever this person is, they're not really spiritual, but they pretend that they are. Okay? Um, and this is, this is, this is, there's some sort of termination or we have a, um, a thor somebody stepping up to the plate. It's like this is somebody who makes a decision and decides, you know, I don't want to put energy into this anymore. I don't want to give to this. I don't want to play these games. I'm done playing these games. I'm done uh, thinking about it. I'm done being manipulated. It's like they realize, they realize that this is a dead end. They realize that this, this is a uh, It's been a battle. This is a battle and it's over because the two of cups this is a separation. Accepting, accepting that, you know, there's no compatibility here. This is acceptance that this is not meant to be. And this is and this is taking a journey. The six of wands is about getting your life back on track. And that's why we have get back to the basics. This is a six here, and here we have a six. This is sixes are about get back to the basics. So that's what somebody is doing. We have an individual that has made up their mind that they're going to get back to the basics, and they're not going to battle and fight with a person that they are not compatible but with anymore. They're ready for peace. They're ready for harmony. They uh, may be leaving without saying goodbye. They maybe they realize that they've been flogging a dead horse. Uh, who knows? But this two of cups reversed is not on the same page at all. Done fighting. Done. Change. Accepting that it's over. So somebody's accepting that it's over. They are. 
And it's because they want balance. They want harmony. Okay? That's what they want. And they've learned some sort of lesson uh, that they may have been reluctant to learn. Okay? Because this is not learning a lesson, but this one is. So it's interesting. It's like they may have learned a lesson by getting into the wrong partnership. Maybe they got into the wrong partnership really, really fast. Anyway, one more card. Um, this is some sort of prison. But it's comfortable there. Safe. Somebody was staying where it was safe. But now they're they're like this. This is this is uh, the six of wands is a warrior. I'm not afraid. I'm done being. I'm done. And this is a warrior as well. I'm I'm not. I'm, that's like letting go of fear. I'm not afraid. It is. Somebody is letting go of fear, and they are uh, evolving. Okay, they're accepting. One more card. Oh, there it is. Whoops, sorry. It fell. I wanted to catch it. There's one. One fell on the floor, too. I gotta get it. Ooh, yeah. There we go. So, the King of Swords and the Chariot. So, those ones fell. That is definitely moving. Getting in the driver's seat, taking the reins, being the boss, uh, taking back control, uh, mastering emotions, willpower, finding the willpower and the determination to uh, take control. Somebody is taking control of their lives. They are. They're moving. Or they're, or they're uh, pushing their feelings aside. Okay, the King of Swords in reverse is somebody, it's not about my feelings. It's, 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 it, this is like, it's not, a, there is no feelings. Okay, the feelings are gone. Okay, there ain't any love in these. There are, no, there's a lack of uh, love here. There's no, there's no love here. Okay. This is an individual that is definitely not changing their mind. There's going to be a conversation, okay? There's going to be a conversation uh, that is very uh, difficult, okay? This person is going to speak their mind very, very matter-of-factly. And they're going to reject or they're going to uh, decide to move on. And they're going to find their strength to do that. This is replacing fear with faith and going someplace else. So somebody is going someplace else. They are. Now the King of Swords in reverse is, is an individual that doesn't communicate well. Uh, or if they do communicate, they communicate in very, very harsh words. Okay. Uh, this is somebody that is ruthless. Doesn't care. It's not about your feelings. Okay. It's not. So there's going to be some sort of words, I believe, that are said that um, <laughs> pushes somebody out of their comfort zone. Okay, it, it take you know what? It's no longer safe here. It's no longer comfortable here. It's time to go. So this chariot is going. Okay, this is this is mental strength. This is forward movement headed towards victory, leaving it all behind, dealing with the opposition, uh, recognizing something, because this is public recognition. Maybe maybe they were staying put in their safety zone because of what everybody else would say. But now it's like it's all about balance. It's all about peace. It's all about harmony. And the partnership that they have been in has been anything but. So we have an individual here that is taking control. This person has been hiding behind a mask and they are ready. They're ready to take a journey. They're ready for a transformation. They're ready to take back control of their lives. And so that's what they're going to do. This is willpower. Willpower. This is not how the story ends. Good luck.